that I just wanted to sacrifice myself for my people and the people in the world for them to think about who have a dream to help that person to make his dream come true. For me, growing up in like 70s coming up, I, it, it's very difficult for me. Because that time I've seen so many parents killing their disabled children, leaving them in the forest. I was so lucky that I have a very good mother and wonderful mother taking care of me. She didn't kill me because the time I was born and I have my one leg deformed, they asked my mom to kill me. And my mom said, no, I'm not going to kill my son. She loved me so much because the time I was born, my father left me and my mom. I just wanted to listen to my mom and see how my life would change. And my mom put something in me that when I focus or when I believe myself, I can do anything I wanted to do. Ghana is like a soccer country. My friends, if I go to school, they play soccer and everything. I wanted to play with them. And they said, no, we can't allow you to play. So I saved money to buy my own soccer ball. And I sent my soccer ball to school. And my friends, they happy that I bring a soccer ball. And they said, Imano, we are going to play a soccer ball today. I said, OK, before you play my soccer ball, you have to include me to the team. And they said, sure, and they did. And I said, you know, I've seen how people are treating disabled people differently in this country. I want to change that perception. So can we come together and do something? And I sit down and I say, okay, bicycle is individual sports. I can take my bicycle to go to anywhere I want. That's why I choose a bicycle to ride with only one leg to change the perception how people think for disabled people in our country. And I write to all these companies for them to give me money to buy a bicycle. And at times they call me and say, Imano, how can you ride a bicycle with one leg? And I met Americans in Ghana. And they said, Imano, we know a foundation in America called Chance Foundation. They help athletes like you. So maybe they can help you. A couple months later, they sent me helmet, bicycle, and everything all the way from California to Ghana. And I was so happy that day I was roaming myself on the floor. And I said, today my dream will start. My president called me and said, Emmanuel, so how can I help you? And I said, I traveled to America before. They have a law fighting for disabled people in their country. I want you to pass the same law in this country. And he did. People judge the box, not by what inside the box. That's what I wanted to put in the people's mind that we can able to do a lot when we come together and we decided what will help the world, not what will help yourself. That will make the world a better place for all of us. That's why I'm still doing this, because before I can see a perfect Ghana, I want to see all the disabled people to clear from the roadside, for them to have their own jobs, for them to go to school. My name is Ivan Ofosi and what moved me is I have to change some perceptions in Ghana around the world. I want people to believe that to have a disability is a gift. You can use your gift to change many people's lives. So my gift is I have a disability and it doesn't push me back, but it push me forward. I will never quit. Always I will keep on pounding until the day my dream will come true.